So basically this kid Sasaki moves into a new town with his grandparents and Aunt Rico and misses his first day of school because he's in the hospital where he meets Eyepatch Girl. He goes to school the next day and asks everyone about Misaki, but they're like, who dat? Sasaki finds out that Class 3-3 is cursed and close to death, and Misaki says just to ignore her. Sasaki goes to the spook store and gets a call from the nurse about a girl named Misaki or some shit that died the night he left the hospital. He finds Misaki in the spook store, and she has a spooky doll eye that can see some shit. The girl who died the other night was Misaki's cousin, and there was another Misaki from 26 years ago who started this whole thing. Old Misaki died halfway through the year, but everyone pretended she was still alive. The next day, Misaki tells Sasaki that he's the only one who can see her, and this spooks this young lady with the umbrella. A week later, Sasaki talks to the nurse about old Misaki, then later sees a friend from school. He gets a final call from the nurse. The class has a meeting without Sasaki, and he sees a few classmates on his way home. Next day, everyone is ignoring Sasaki, so he goes to the soup store to get some answers. So it turns out, every year, if the calamity starts, someone connected to the class will die, every month. This is caused by the number of students increasing by one, and... The extra student is fucking dead, but nobody knows who it is, and the extra doesn't even know that they're dead. The previous classes found out if they treat one student like they don't exist, that'll make up for the extra, and this year Misaki was chosen as tribute. The librarian has had an interest in this for the past 26 years, apparently. Sasaki asks Aunt Rico how they stopped it when she was in school, but she doesn't remember. The next day, the teacher comes into class in a pretty good mood. Because the countermeasures aren't really working, Sasaki and Misaki get to be part of the gang again. A former student, Katsumi, hit a tape with how to stop the calamity in the classroom and meets up with the kiddos at the beach where everyone is totally safe. Scoob and the gang later find a tape and hear something about a class trip, but Velma breaks the tape before they can figure out how to stop it. While some kids are trying to skip town, Katsumi fixes the tape for them and turns out killing the extra is the only way to stop this. The kids decide to go on a class trip, who the fuck approved that by the way, and have a really nice dinner. Turns out Misaki can see death with her spooky eye, but before she tells Sasaki who's dead, freaking Velma comes in and says that she murdered somebody. Then shit hits the fan real quick and everyone starts dying, everywhere. Turns out, Izumi remembers Sasaki from a year and a half ago, but he doesn't remember. Sasaki and Misaki find their teacher, Aunt Rico, and it turns out that she was the extra because she fucking died a year and a half ago, and Sasaki couldn't remember because the, she was the extra, and goddamn Sasaki finally got all his memories back, and he was like, oh shit, I totally have been here a year and a half ago, and I'm finally starting to remember everything, so Sasaki finally ends it and the kids leave a message to the future students of class 3-3. The end. Boom. That's it. That's the whole thing. Fucking Aunt Rico was dead the whole time. Goddamn fucking... All the suspense. For what? For this. For fucking Aunt Rico. Aunt Rico from the beginning of the story! Oh, it was the pizza guy from the beginning of the story, remember? Oh, fucking Aunt Rico, dead at the end. And then it also turns out that... Motherfucking Misaki, the other one who died, who was the cousin, was actually her twin sister, so yeah. 10 out of 10 would recommend.